Hey there, welcome to another radio video on the ICOM channel and this is the continued operations manual, video manual of the ICOM ICR20 receiver a series of videos explaining in detail how to use your ICOM R ICR20 communications receiver. If you have one, take it with you and follow as we're talking on your own radio. Do all the little maneuvers that I'm showing. So like that you'll be able to do it at the same time that I am explaining and you'll be able to actually slowly but surely learn how to use your ICOM radio to the max. Today we'll talk about uh, attenuation and RF gain. When do we need to actually use them and what does it mean if you're a newbie? You might not know what it means. The ICOM ICR20 is a great receiver but it has a little flaw which is basically understandable considering price versus frequency range of this radio and all the features. They've actually uh, set this radio to a very very sensitive mode and that is good because it does receive very well on most bands but it also has a flaw that makes it um, a little annoying sometimes is that if you live in a big city like I do some of the signals are actually so strong they overload the radio so what it means is that the radio will actually have less sensitivity when a big strong signal is present on the same frequency band you're listening to so it will get in the way of weak signals for example or it gets in the way even of some of the strong signals um, one example of that is if I listen to the 2 meter amateur band I've noticed that if I don't lower slightly the RF gain for example I will have some noisy interference from time to time when the antennas that are very close here tend to uh, actually transmit signals so there's a way to cope about that with strong signals um, there's al also another feature that's um, useful sometimes maybe you live very close to uh, a transmitter and you're listening to some of the communications from that radio transmitter you might want to lower the sensitivity of the radio so that you won't have uh, distortion of the signal also so two ways to actually attenuate the reception of this radio and you'll actually use them depending on where you are sometimes you want to actually attenuate a little bit sometimes you want the radio to be as sensitive as possible so how do you do it well the first button you have for attenuation is the attenuator which is on the bottom left of the radio right here you see ATT that's attenuator if you press and hold you'll see that in the display here ATT has appeared and it says attenuator it means it's on and this is really a big attenuation for example this signal that you barely hear if I press and hold you can see that it does make a big difference in the signal so it's usable as only if the signals you're trying to hear are very strong and of course it will help in getting you less interference uh, from overloading of very strong signals nearby so that's one way it's the easy way only one setting an attenuator so it's it, it's just on or off and that's it but right next to it you've got another button and this one says RF gain RF gain means radio frequency gain and that means that it's a setting where you change how much sensitivity you give to the radio so the higher the gain the more sensitive the radio and the lower the less it is how do you use it once again you press and hold RF gain and in the display you'll see here it says set RF gain and you'll see a number or maybe you'll see max meaning that it's at the maximum 
And to change your IF gain, all you have to do is, uh, once again, the right dial button on the top, clockwise. And here we're at max. And you can see that the signal level is actually much stronger now. Or, counterclockwise. About 2 1. So, what's interesting about the RF gain is that the attenuator that I showed you a little earlier is a very strong attenuation of a signal and it's really on or off. While the RF gain, what is interesting is that it's a setting that you can change one increment at a time. So if you have interference but the attenuator is too strong and actually uh, will take out even the, 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 the signal you want to hear, then the RF gain is interesting because it will actually be less effective. You'll actually have the choice of how sensitive you want it. So you might be able to actually lower the sensitivity just a little bit enough for your signal to be in a better position um, when you got strong signals trying to overload the receiver and yet it's going to be sensitive enough that your signal is actually coming in unlike the attenuator that might actually cut it off so once you've set your RF gain to your desired strength all you have to do is do a quick press on RF gain and it's set and you're getting back to the regular uh, screen here with the uh, signal level at the bottom uh, both RF gain and attenuator can be used together so if you've got a really whopper of a strong signal and you need the maximum possible then all you need to do is just you know press attenuator don't forget to hold the button then you press the RF gain put it to zero or one minimum here we go and now this radio is probably really deaf uh, an example I tried to listen to local uh, weather here on you know, five zero you see even my local weather just one little bar and signal and it should use usually be really strong so you can see it attenuates a lot really 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 makes this radio insensitive but if you've got really strong signals uh, it might be an option so both can be used together at the same time now if I press and hold to take out the attenuator already you see a big difference and if I press RF gain and actually put it higher here we go we got full quieting which is maximum strength of the signal here so depending on what you're going to listen to uh, you might want to use attenuation it's not necessary on all of the bands for example you will not want any attenuation if you're listening to shortwave uh, signals because the antenna setting is already not that great especially if you don't have an outdoor wire it will probably be mostly useful in the VHF UHF range where big signals might actually interfere and um, overload the radio so um, it's a nice setting to have I personally never use the attenuator button I uh, personally use mostly the RF gain and try to change the gain just enough so that I get good signals but less overloading in the radio uh, I kind of find the attenuation a little strong and actually instead of an RF gain I would have um, probably enjoyed having the attenuation with a setting if the attenuator would have been um, you know used in, com com in combination with this button here we could have had levels of attenuation which would have been interesting um, because the attenuation and the RF gain don't work in the same way the attenuation is basically we add a little resistor in the circuit that 
just lowers the input signal. The RF gain is more of a circuit tuning where we actually desensitize the transistors that are in the RF stages. So all the transistors that amplify the signal are actually sent a little less signal and amplify less. So it doesn't work in the same way. And sometimes attenuation is preferable to RF gain. Uh, but yet, here we have both, and uh, we got to actually work with what he ha we have, so uh, uh, both of these are explained here. So this was a little basic operations, once again, video, talking about attenuation and RF gain usage on the ICOM ICR20 communications receiver. If you enjoyed these videos, click the subscribe button at the top of the screen. You'll be informed of all the videos we put online. If you have any comments or questions, let us know. We'll try to answer. And of course, uh, hope you enjoyed this series of videos. So thanks for watching. 73s.